Mahdi is twice as heavy as her son. Her mass is four-fifth of her husband's mass. What is the ratio of Jenny's mass to her son's mass to her husband's mass? So we see Jenny appearing. Okay, this kind of question we see someone's mass is a fraction of another. When we have this, we use the concept first come, first serve. Okay, what does first come, first serve mean? It means that numerator goes to the first person. That is the number of units that the first person has. So in this case, 4 means that Jenny has 4 units in her mass. Then, denominator goes to the second person in the sentence. So her husband has 5 units in terms of the mass. And when we write out in ratio form, Jenny is twice as heavy as a son. So Jenny to son is 2 to 1. Okay, Jenny to husband is 4 to 5. Then after that, we know that Jenny has to have the same mass. Cannot change her mass just like that because she's comparing with other people. So what do we do? We need to make sure the number of units for Jenny is the same for both the ratios that we write out. Okay, so change this to match the 4. Lowest common multiple of 2 and 4 is 4. So times 2 throughout, this gives me 4 to 2. So then after this, we can compare all three masses. So Jenny to son to husband, that will be 4 to 2 to 5. Okay, changing ratios. Okay, like I mentioned, we are going to visit, we are going to touch on two of them. One is unchanged total. So what kind of questions do you have unchanged total? Let's look at this. Gina and Henry had some lollipops in the ratio 5 to 7. Henry gave 24 lollipops to Gina. In the end, Gina had twice as many lollipops as Henry. So in this case, the lollipops were actually internally transferred. Internally transferred means between the two of them, they just pass to one another. So in this case, Henry is the one who gave to Gina. Does the total change? The total does not change. Okay, so no matter what you do, if you are internally exchanging or transferring, the total units before and after will remain the same. This is what they mean by unchanged total or internal transfer. So how do we solve questions like this? Okay, what we do is we write down the ratio for Gina and Henry. Since we know total is unchanged, we need to have the total ratio coming out. So 5 to 7, total is 12 units. Then because Henry is the one who gave 24 to Gina, Gina will plus 24 lollipops, Henry will minus 24. In the end, Gina had twice as many as Henry. So twice as many means 2 to 1. And the total becomes 3. But we also know that the total does not change. So what do we do? We make the total units the same for before and after. How do we do that? We multiply the bottom, the second ratio line, by 4 throughout. Okay, to make it 12 as well. Then that gives me 8 to 4 to 12. Then we compare. From 5 units to 8 units, that is plus 24. 7 units to 4 units, that is minus 24. Okay, so 3 units, that gives me my 24. In this case, there's no question. Okay, it's just a scenario that we have. So we don't worry about how to solve this. What is important is we are able to come up with our ratio and then we are able to come up to with how many units represent a certain number. Okay.